being persistent in doing that which is right allows you to see yourself that you are a peculiar people. Now you find in First Peter 2 verse 9, we learn here and it says, but he are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that he should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Now look at the screen. There's a lot that we can learn from the scripture verse. But realizing that when we do that which is right in his sight, we are peculiar people. We don't conform to the ways of the world. We stand out. But he are a chosen generation. Remember, you are selected. You are selected not just by, a, by frivolous thought, but you have been divinely selected by wisdom itself. You are not just a generation that is living now, but you are a finishing generation. Because we know and we can see clearly that the temple of Solomon is about to be built. The third temple is about to be built. There's so many um, prophecies being unfolded in this day and age. There is no time to squander and move about aimlessly when you are a finishing generation because there is work to be done. Doing that which is right in his sight realizes that you are a divine genealogy in this day and age. Why? Because the DNA that's within you stems from Christ himself. He's made you a new creation. And we uh, think of the, the shape of our DNA. The smallest cell in the body is the shape of a cross. How much more does God want you to realize the value that you carry? And when it says you are a royal priesthood, you find that the royalty, royalty does not conform to any kind of ethos. Royalty conforms to the kingly, to, to kingly ethos. They carry themselves knowing who they are. They carry themselves with the dignity that they believe that this is the strategic place in mankind. So your place is not just to be born on a certain date and to die on a certain date, or to be born, be raptured, or to be born and just live life aimlessly and just face every day as it comes. But you were strategically placed, divinely placed, so that your life can echo the words and say, I will do that which is right by the manner in which I carry myself as royalty. I am a king. I am a queen. The Bible says that he is the king of kings, not just the kings that we speak about that we're, that we're crowned in years to pass. We are kings. We are, we are the kings they speak of. He's the king of kings. We are the kings. We are the queens. Therefore, it says he's the king of kings. And know this. Doing what is right in his sight, is, it allows you to see that what you decree with your mouth is life and death in the tongue. Doing what is right in his sight means you don't just go about cursing people. You don't just go about uh, speaking negative. A king will always want to motivate his kingdom and those around him, his subjects. A king cannot show that he is fallen and given up. Because even when his, his kingdom is under attack, he stands brave, ready to defend his kingdom. We, our king, has fought the fight. And he's come out victorious. And we, as his kingly children, must stand proud. Stand with attention. Stand knowing that we belong. <laughs>